had the first snowstorm of the season, and with cold weather comes hats, coats, and running noses. Infectious diseases like colds are especially common in the winter, yet a few easy preventive measures can help keep you and your family healthier. What are infectious diseases? Infectious diseases are illnesses that are transferable. Diseases that can be easily transmitted from person to person are considered to be infectious. A person who is infected with such a disease is contagious and has the ability to pass the disease on to others. Some of these diseases travel so easily that just one exposure to the disease is enough to spread the contagious disease to another person. Some typical infectious diseases are the common cold, strep throat, and rubella. What type of diseases are infectious? The most common infectious disease originate in the intestinal tract and in the respiratory tract. Some infectious diseases are parasites that invade the body, such as lice or crabs. Others, such as chickenpox and whooping cough, can be prevented with proper vaccinations. A few diseases are transferable by coming in contact with blood from an infected person. However, most contagious diseases are spread by germs. Germs are so small, they cannot be seen without a microscope. However, just a few germs on a hand or a toy can be enough to spread a disease. Germs from communicable diseases can be transferred in two basic ways. They can be transferred by bodily fluids or by airborne particles. This includes fluids from the eyes, the mouth, nose, blood, or stool secretions. That means that all body openings are a starting point for germs to begin their journey into or out of a body. Now you may think you are safe from infectious diseases if you simply keep away from people who are sick. However, germs can survive for quite some time out of the body, so you can be infected without ever coming into direct contact with a sick person. Additionally, germs can take a long journey from their host body until they meet a new body to inhabit. For example, a child might cough onto their hand, emitting numerous airborne particles, some of which land on their hand. They de he then opens the door of his house, which transfers the germs to the doorknob. His sister, who is the next person to walk in, will touch a doorknob and receive those germs. She then proceeds to eat a cookie, which provides those germs with a quick entry into a new host body. That means that even surfaces that look clean may really be hiding germs that are, that are invisible to the naked eye. Even after cleaning the dirt off a surface, enough germs may still remain to spread a disease. Additionally, a person with a disease is often contagious before he or she develops symptoms. Many diseases have an incubation period that lasts from a few hours to a few days during which the person who is contagious but displays no symptoms. That means you always have to be on the alert, even if nobody around you is ill. So, how can you prevent yourself from being the recipient of an infectious disease? The first and primary tool at your disposal is hand washing. Throughout the day, your hands touch numerous surfaces and objects, any one of which can be harboring infectious diseases. Your hands will then pick up those germs and transfer them into your body. This can happen while rubbing your eyes, touching a body opening, or by touching food which is then consume consumed. Using proper hand washing techniques as often as possible will remove all the germs from your hands and keep them from entering your body. When should your hands be washed? It is imperative to wash your hands when coming, before coming in contact with food. That means before preparing food, feeding young children, and eating. It is also important to wash your hands before touching any utensils that may be used with food, for example, setting the table. After using the bathroom, your hands should be properly washed before touching any object or surfaces. This is also important to remember when, help, when diapering young children or assisting them in the bathroom. Hands should be washed after coming in from the outdoors because any surface in a public area is bound to be harboring some germs. After coming in contact with bodily fluids, such as blood or mucus, your hands should be washed immediately. So what is the proper way to wash your hands to ensure that all the germs are removed? There are a number of components involved in washing your hands properly. It is Each one is important because they ensure that all the germs are effectively flushed away without any cross-contamination. Begin with running water and liquid soap. Bars of soap are notorious for harboring germs and should be avoided. Rub some soap about the size of a quarter onto both your hands, making sure to reach between each finger and thumb. Scrub the backs of your hands and under each nail. Rinse under warm running water until all the soap is removed. Done correctly, this procedure should take between 20 and 30 seconds. 
quietly sing the ABCs, which should take about 20 seconds, so you make sure that you're washing for long enough. With the water still running, dry your hands on a disposable paper towel. Washable towels that are used by more than one person will house germs and transfer them from person to person, so disposable ones are preferable. Use a paper towel to turn off the faucet. This prevents your clean hands from coming in contact with a surface that may hold infectious germs. If you're in a public restroom or have doubts about the cleanliness of the bathroom, use the paper towel or your elbow to open the door when exiting the bathroom. Using this technique of warm running water, liquid soap, scrubbing the entire hand for 20 seconds, using a disposable paper towel for drying your hands and turning off the faucet, will not only eliminate all the germs, but prevent your hands from becoming contacting any germs in the process. Another method to prevent the spread of germs is to cough and sneeze into clothing at your elbow rather than into your hand. A cough or sneeze expels thousands of tiny particles all filled with germs, each one searching for a new body in which to multiply. As we discussed before, your hands will touch a number of other surfaces and the potential to spread to germs and infections. The material of your sleeve is unlikely to come in contact with any other surfaces and therefore minimizes the risk of spreading diseases. Coughing into a protected item of clothing helps contain the spread of germs expelled by your cough. It is especially important to exercise proper caution when coming into bodily fluids. The most common way to come in contact with bodily fluids is by blowing your nose. Make sure that the tissue is properly disposed of in a covered garbage can to prevent the spread of germs. Wash your hands well, as we described earlier, to ensure that all the germs are safely disposed of. This is important to remember when you are helping a young child or wiping their nose for them as well. Being immunized on schedule and staying away from work and crowds while you are sick are also a good way to minimize the spread of infectious germs and diseases. Although germs are everywhere and they, carry, they can carry infectious diseases, a few simple preventive measures will help keep you healthier. Wash your hands often, especially after using the bathroom and before coming in contact with food. Use liquid soap, warm running water, wash for 20 seconds, make sure you use disposable paper towels to dry your hands. Cover your coughs and your sneezes with your elbow or other protected item of clothing and to make sure to dispose of used tissues properly. These habits will help minimize the spread of infectious diseases and keep you and your family healthier this winter. Thank you.